All right, this is going to be a brief video demonstrating some Cisco 7962 phones connected to FreePBX using a module called SCCP Manager. Uh, I tried for weeks to get these phones to connect using the SIP, uh, SIP plugins and reconfiguring them with all the SIP protocol and it never worked. It was always a, a huge pain in the neck to try to get these to work. Um, you couldn't send calls, you couldn't receive calls, the phone would basically not register. Then someone introduced a SCCP manager to me and took me all about 15 minutes to install and then I reinstalled SCCP on these phones and they connected to my server with no problem. For those of you who don't know, <coughs> SCCP is the default uh, protocol that these phones use to connect to a server. It's very commonly used with Cisco's call manager applications. So SCCP is more of a default thing for Cisco to phones to use, so they're more familiar with it. But in the meantime, I have five of these Cisco phones. They all connected just fine with no hassle, but I'm only gonna show two of you, two of these for demonstration purposes. If you want to install this yourself, part of the plugin is called Chan SCCPB. You can Google this on the free PBX forums or Google it just in general and the installation is very straightforward. This is not an installation video, it's just a demonstration video. But, as we can see, we have two 7962s here. <coughs> they both work flawlessly. So as we can see, we can hit new call, we get the line, we can dial a number, so let's dial the echo test for instance. You can dial. You are about to enter an echo test. You can enter an echo In this test. mode, everything you say will be... And as you can see, the echo test is working between me and the phone. You can also, of course, send calls between the phones. So this is 2006, this is 2007. If I want to dial 2006, 2006 rings. And of course, I, I can answer the phone, phone and it works just fine. Voicemail also works very well. So for instance, if I want to leave a voicemail, I actually don't have it set up on these phones, but you can leave a voicemail on the phone if you have it set up. And the voicemail light, which is the ringing indicator, it will stay lit like on typical Cisco phones if you have a voicemail. So that works really, really well. You can also program speed dials and hard keys here. So I have a page all key and a send to park key. Um, right now, I have not had success with paging and intercom with these phones. Uh, there is a way to do it. I just need to look into it and figure out how to set it up, but right now, for instance, if I dial the intercom prefix and try to intercom to 2006, you'll see it just rings. This phone thinks it's connected, but this phone is still ringing, and then you'll see it just drops the call. Uh, and then again, paging does not work yet on these either. The other thing I'm looking into as well is if you want to have these phones connected to a queue or something, and you want these phones to be agents in a queue or a ring group, if you get a call coming in from a ring group like, Like if you have a call coming in right now from a ring room, there's something very strange about it where if you try to answer it, you'll see it actually doesn't answer the call because it's still ringing. So not entirely sure what's up with that. I'm also looking into that, of course, as well. But other than that, let me just clear these missed calls. Other than that, these phones do work very, very well. Uh, messages key I need to look into because it dials star 97, which would work typically. I just changed the prefix, so it's not star 97, which is why it's a little difficult. But, like I guess everything else works. You can redial, you have a new call, you can do call forward. Um, so if I, if I hit call forward, and let's say I want to forward them to 2008, which is sitting next to me, I can dial that. And then any call that comes to 2007 will go to 2008. So if I try to dial... 2007 here. You see, you can't you can't see it, but it's ringing right next to me. So then I can also answer it and talk normally. And then to disable call forward, you just hit the button once. Other features we have is a call forward for busy, call forward for no answer, and then do not disturb. And private, which is neat, is uh, basically just a way of hiding who you're calling. So if I hit private, and this I dial. Uh, Speaking clock. Instead of saying where, the, and the then you can't see exactly. where, 
One, I'm dialing. This is too, just as too private. So that way anyone who's looking over your shoulder can't tell who you're calling. Um, when you're on a call, like let's say I call 2006. While I'm on a call, the options we have, we can hold the call. So that just obviously puts the call on hold and the other end here is the hold music. You can resume by hitting resume or just tapping the line button. You can end the call. You can transfer the call. More options, you can conference the call. You can park the call, which just speed dials the park. So if I hit park, well, and call, of course, it changed. After a few seconds, it does time out. Let me just redial that. If I hit park, it'll just speed Seven, dial. Zero, zero, it'll one. speed dial the park and then drop the call for you, and you'll see it says you have a call on park. To get that back, you just dial the extension and transfer it to. There you go. You can also select, I'm not sure what that does. Ah, oh, you can just select the line, okay. You can direct transfer, record the call, do video mode, and then call forward as usual. So if I direct transfer, you need more than one call for that. And to hang up the call, you can either hang up with the handset or just press speaker. The mute key also works, so if you hit the mute button, you'll hear a beep, that, and also it'll tell you on the screen that mute was turned on. To take it off mute, you hit the same thing, and you hear two beeps as well. Just to demonstrate that this, the other buttons do work, I'll demonstrate the page all button, but like I said, it does not work quite on these phones, but you'll see it just rings here. But on, but on the other phones, phones on the other, on the other phones, 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 it works. And Santa Park will just speed dial 7000, which is my general zero, park extension, one. and then we'll get you uh, into the park. That's basically it for these videos. Again, this is not an install video or how-to. If you want to learn how, it's very simple. Just Google Chan SCCPB. So it's like an alternative form of SCCP and installs it onto your free PBX server. But it is worth, really worth it. It's completely free and saves you so much time from trying to fight dealing with SIP. But yes, that is the video. So thank you for watching. Please subscribe. If you have something you'd like to see me do or a tutorial on and free PBX, please let me know. I have quarantine right now, and I don't have either of my jobs, so I have lots of free time on my hands. So thanks for watching, we'll see you in the next video.